All right, it's Monday morning. I think it's time to go ahead and get these rotors put on at my buddy's shop, so that's where we're heading. Yeah, a little foggy on the windshield for some weird reason. All right, good. Yeah, I'll probably go back over the story here. I think it was back in 2012 I had my mechanic check the records. Um, my wife, of course, drive, drove this van a lot, back and forth to Charlotte mostly. And, uh, yeah, she told me the brakes started making noise, like, uh, a couple weeks or something like that. So I finally drive it, and, yeah, uh, the brake pads were metal to metal. So... <laughs> Yeah, I took it up to my buddy's shop back then, and uh, they wanted to do a, you know, full brake job, you know, pads and rotors and all that. Well, I couldn't really afford to have that all done, so I was like, look, just throw some pads on, and um, and let me just get by for a while till I can, uh, you know, get some money up and all that. So they did, and. Fast forward four and a half, five years later, and the pads sound like they're wore out, and the rotors are warped, because when I've come to a stop, like, let me see here, I don't know if you can hear it. No, no not really, you can't really hear it, but I can feel it. It's feeling the shimmy, you know, when it comes to a stop, especially at higher speeds, I, I feel a lot more that, you know, there. So, yeah, it was, I finally determined that, uh, you know, now that I'm home and got a little bit of money coming in through the tax business, I figured, well, I'm going to need to keep this van in good working order, especially if I find a job later, later on sometime this year. Yeah, I need to make sure that this thing is running good and my truck needs work, but there's no way I'm going to dump a thousand, fifteen hundred into it for ball joints, air conditioning, and possibly a heater core. So, yeah, that's uh, just not going to happen. So, um, basically, this one is the main vehicle I'll be driving, whatever I do. So, I got to make sure that it is in good mechanical shape. So, I don't know, Toyota. <laughs> Take it up to Toyota for recall stuff, and then suddenly I start getting phone calls from them. Hey, you haven't been up for an oil change or for preventative maintenance. I'm like, I'm not coming to you for that. You charge way too much. And I told the rep that, quit calling me. You know, I came up there for recall stuff. Yeah, you know, I think for the airbag sensor light or something like that. And then all of a sudden they decide they're going to start calling me, spamming me, basically. Um, I don't know, what do they call that, robocalling or whatever? To try to get me to come up and get an oil change or get my uh, suspension worked on. I guess it's due based on the mileage, but suspension feels fine to me. Um, I told you, yeah, quit calling me. I only come up there for recall or warranty stuff, that's it. Total play out, you charge too much. I got a shop that I go to that takes care of me and you know, charges me reasonable prices. So, I don't know if they're gonna stop calling me or, well, I mean, they haven't called me in a couple of weeks now, so, who knows. But, yeah, anyway, we'll, uh, get to the shop here, we creep along through the school zone, I guess, and uh, we'll watch the work as it gets done. A big old rig coming through, probably heading to the industrial park. Let me scoot on over here. Everybody's got sheds up in here. Sheds and you can't really see them because of the sun. But I'm thinking about vinyl siding the mega shed in the next few years.
couple few years. We'll see how the money situation looks because it's just got thin plywood and my small 10 by 12 shed is already starting to rot apart from the uh, from just age and termites and rotten wood and all that. So yeah, protect my bigger investment. Yeah, I think vinyl siding is the way I'm going to go. Still dealer, Southern States. <clears throat> Good. There's some more mobile homes and remanufactured homes. Is that what they call them around here? Good. Cut out in front of me, goof. Oh, smoking like a freight train. Great. Yeah, Aldi is back open. They are now some sort of organic. Aldi. We'll have to get over there one day. I don't know when, but not today. Alright, we're good. Alright, we are here, so let's get in line. Oh, the staying. No motor. So when you think of you dropping the motor back in? Oh, I got you. Man, I'll gut it out. Tarps, nice seat. <laughs> yeah. Extra, padding. Extra padding. I hear you. That's all right. This is a 67, 68. 68, okay. Nice. Looking good. Do the dash. Uh, there's the, the block of the motor for the Mustang. Still on the stand, all wrapped up. Hmm. Like that, my buddy's tool box. Occasional flying tools in this area. <laughs> There's a caddy in and out for oil change. I think I'm up next. We're going in this bay here. Oh wow, are these for my van already? Yeah. Wow, talk about service. I know. <laughs> the parts arrive before the van's in the shop. That's great. No yeah, no comprende. Quit calling me. Freaking Toyota harassing my ass. <laughs> There it is, the old torpedo. Added a new silent service plate to the front of it. <laughs> Going airborne. Let's see how bad these rotors look. looking record grooves. Yeah, backside's even worse. Uh, can't really see it, but yeah, I need replaced. Yeah. This one might not be as bad. Oh yeah, on the inside it is. Uh, <laughs> fun. Ooh, aren't those purdy? Purdy and brand new. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, it's one on the flatbed for the donuts. Looks like fun. Mazda. Yeah, those rotors looking pretty crappy. Yeah. <laughs> they are bent. Calipers looking good. Cool. Polish them up. Yeah, those are nice.
That's just brake cleaner, right? Okay. Cool. Tread pattern, two and two. <laughs> All right, come along. Yeah, if you can see, uh, I got some serious grooves in here. That was from 2012. Pads are about half worn out, but yeah, they're warped, so they definitely need replaced for sure. Yeah. And then they call the customer and tell them that their alignment's out. <laughs> yeah, and then they're they try like, "What are you doing? Checking my alignment." It's a courtesy inspection. Oh, if it's courtesy, and as long as I ain't paying for it. Yeah, it's like... They put it on a bill, I'm going to start raising hell. They're just hunting, saying, oh, you need it while you're in here. Right. Thanks for your $90. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I didn't ask you to check that. Yeah, that's crazy. I went in for the airbag recall, and I had oh, the light on. <laughs> yeah, and they, they checked my suspension, and, oh, you need, a, you need to have your suspension looked at. I'm like... Psh. My suspension's fine. I'm not paying for anything that yeah. is not covered so under a warranty. Why would you check that? I, I didn't complain yeah. about anything when I brought it in. Yeah. I mean, Toyota, for the most part, has done good, you know, especially with the recall thing. You know, they haven't charged me or anything, but when they start doing crap like that, trying to get money from me, it's, yeah. It's called fishing. Fishing? Yeah. Fishing for dollars. Yeah. They're not going to get it from me. They usually do that when they're slow or doing a free job. I got you. Oh, man. Looking purdy. New pads, new rotors. That should last me a while. All right, one's done. Oh, okay. I wonder what that was, just popping it off. Hmm. There we go, there's the old ones. Yeah, you can definitely see the record grooves in them there. In both of them. Wow. It was definitely needing them. Some Teflon grease or? It's a high temp. High temp grease, okay. Yeah, real high temp. Oh, good. The way I drive, I probably need it. <laughs> I need a melting point, so it's like 2100. Oh, wow. Excellent. I have to spend any more money then. <laughs> if I can, I was going to say, hell, if they're, save that money, save that money for sure. <laughs> done this once or twice. Yeah. <laughs> Way too many. Yeah, that was a little bit low. It's the front right. Maybe it was the front right. Might have been that one. 
action because this thing's sitting so long. It lost some air pressure in all of them. Let's go get them up to up to spec. The back ones are in the mid 20s. Oh wow, yeah, that is low. That's good. Get them up to up to spec, then that'll hopefully save me a little bit on gas. Wow. Hmm. Okay. That was probably really low because I saw it bowing a little bit. What was it? 24. 24? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Pretty low. Oh, man. All right, we're dropping it down. Sweet. Six, seven, one, one, one. Sorry. Six seven one one one. Yeah, low mileage for a ten year old van. Yeah. Well, didn't drive it a whole lot. Pumping the brakes. Oh good. Another job done on the van. Preventative maintenance. Uh, that's good. Make sure I don't wipe out. <laughs> no. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> All right, there you go. 109.18. <clears throat> so, yeah, the pads were under warranty, and I paid for the rotors myself, basically. Because, yeah, they said they charged like, you know, $15, $20 per rotor extra. So, yeah, that saved me some money there getting them myself. So, cool. So now we're good to go. And we'll hit the road. Yeah, they started getting busy too. I'm glad I got up here when I did because, boy, the cars started rolling in. Yeah, you can see them now. They're just starting to rack them, pack them, and stack them. All right. Let's see how they work. Oh, yeah. Very good. Nice. Well, that's good. So now that's pretty much it. Yeah, the back rotor or the back drums are fine. So we're good to go there. This guy's just creeping along. Holy crap. But yeah. So brakes are done. Rotors, pads, all that. What are you doing? Oh, nice signal finally. Back drums are okay, so that's yeah, not too bad. I think total is probably right under two hundred dollars for buying the rotors and then the labor. So that's not too bad for front brakes. Oh yeah, very good. Feel a lot better. They're not shimmying like they used to, so. Yeah, this will be, these will last a few years, I'm sure. What's in the back of this truck? Looks like some sort of tanks or something. That on the trailer and barn lot. Trailers and barns, it looks like. Pretty nice. Yeah. KFC is not open yet, but some people hanging out over there. Looks like a powwow. Looks like a signal. Yeah, I'll make the signal good. Yeah, that's good. Had Customers come in over the weekend, so that's the money that I use to fix the van. So I should be good to go on that for a while. And normally, I think what the normal rate is for a brake job, but uh, I think you know, $200 is actually not bad. Uh, granted, probably doing that myself, I could have saved a lot of money, but still, I mean. I used to do this for a hobby, but it's not so much fun anymore as you get older and these newer vehicles got all this technology in there. And, yeah, I just turn it over to, you know, the mechanics. I got all the tools that can do it quick, get it, just basically get it done. So, college girls out running. Yeah, just thinking as I'm driving. About uh, going back to the dealers, how they try to, you know, be 
become shysters to get you to come back and give them money for unnecessary work. I mean, granted, now it may be necessary, but then again, it may not be. And, uh, yeah, that's the main reason I don't go to dealers anymore. If there's a recall, okay, I'll be there. You know, if I have a warranty on, a, on my vehicle, which I don't anymore, then I go and get that covered under the warranty. But, uh, no. You know, the only time I would go to the dealer would be to buy the vehicle, which we did in 07. <laughs> and then any recall stuff. So, yeah, that's it. I'm, uh, not going up there for any preventative maintenance. Not with their prices. Because they charge ridiculous amounts of money. And if you just know somebody like I do, I've known my friend for over 20 years now. I trust his work, and uh, they charge fair prices, so that's who I'll deal with. School's in session here. So, anyway, I'm pretty much home. Wrap up this to and fro. Get a brake job on my 2007 Toyota Sienna. So, until the next thrilling video. Oh, you would pull out. Goof. Alright, adios.